So um, we're just going to talk a little bit today about the interview process, um, what it was like for us and how you can do well at it. Um, I, I was over the moon when I got an interview, but it was a bit of a mixed emotion as well because, you know, then it was the next challenge. Now I had um, an interview to prepare for, um, but it was nice. It was nice to, you know, know that you're through to the next stage and that you're, you're progressing. Um, so I went out to dinner with some friends to celebrate and uh, yeah, I was, I was a mixture of excited and nervous. The nerves start to pile on and then you start to think the negative side of it. What if I do this interview and I don't get where I want to be? And then you start to panic, but then you start to think of the good side and it's completely normal to feel this way. It's completely normal. The best advice I could give is go onto the NHS Scotland website and read the NHS Scotland core values. You should know those back to front. Um, go onto the HCPC website. Um, the HCPC is the Healthcare Professions Council and they regulate paramedics. So in order to be a paramedic, you have to register with them. Um, and as part of that, they set out standards of proficiency and a code of conduct. Um, and these are like the rules, the commandments that every paramedic should be living and breathing by. Um, so if you can read up on those and show that you have an understanding of them, um, and, you know, mention in your interview that you've done that. So when you're asked about what characteristic might be important for a paramedic, say, well, according to the HCPC standards of proficiency, um, that that's a really good way of, of getting an understanding of what the characteristics are that you need to, to highlight. So, so just to underline it, basically, look at the NHS Scotland core values, look at the HCPC website, care, compassion, dignity and respect are the kind of big ones that, that you'll be expected to talk about at your interview um, and just that you've got the people skills, the attitude and an understanding of the profession. Yeah, if you can do any reading or watch YouTube videos about um, ethics in healthcare practice, um, things like autonomy and the patient's right to choose, um, yeah. those are, are really good to um, understand and if you can talk about them in your interview confidently that will put you in really good stead. And um, when I was paying for the drug calculations for the online test I found some mock questions at our lecture for, for mathematics she went over with us and I found myself doing those questions but then I was changing the calculations myself and then working out the answer. I found it I was getting faster and faster at it because as you said it's pressure because your time and I managed to, I thought that just continuing to do it and continuing to work in, you are given weeks. They will give you a date that's weeks in advance for you to prepare for it. Try and take as much time as you can just to make sure because the, the time that they are putting you under is for a reason. But plenty of practice. Absolutely. You just can't be too prepared for any of the interviews. So the best advice I would give is just again, when you're invited to interview, you'll be sent some documentation and it will lay out really clearly um, what the interview process will be look like um, and what they're looking for, what they'll expect. So read that back to front. If you can print it out and go through it with a highlighter and make notes, that's excellent. Some of the universities will let on more than others. So um, Cali this year was really, you know, their documentation was really friendly and it explained the questions that they were going to ask ahead of time. Like not the exact questions, but they gave you some examples so you could go ahead and start thinking about your answers to those questions. Um, so it's a really good idea to, before your interview, you can either find it in the documentation or you can find example questions online. But if you start writing down the questions that you think they might ask and thinking about your response ahead of time. Uh, and then one thing that really helped was asking my flatmate to do mock interviews with me. So I would give him a list of questions um, and that really helped because even if you've kind of had to think about what your answers are going to be, to be asked the question and to have to actually articulate it, it really helps to kind of underline that in your head. Um, so if you can ask a friend or a family member 
um, and give them some example questions that will make it easier in the day because you've you've got an idea of, of what you're going to answer when those questions are asked. We are going to be out on, on placements and prior to going into UWS I researched the areas in which we would be sent to because we will be when you're on placements for university west of Scotland are quite far away so you're looking at Oban and Ayr and I looked into that prior to going in for my interview, trying to make yourself in, looking at how many days you're going to be in the university. I went to the open day to find out where the library was, find out where the study sessions were. And it was quite helpful because I can see myself, right, okay, this is where the library is. So when I go in, I'm not going to be looking for it. This is where the canteen is. Um, they showed us where the nursing and the paramedics are going to take place as well. So you've got an understanding of where you're going to be for studying and where they it's, um, a simulated ambulance to show you the proximity in which you're going to be working as well. So finding out how the unit are going to prep to teach can be really helpful because then you've got an understanding of where you need to be and what is expected of you. Yeah, absolutely. I, I felt the same way. I was lucky enough to go on a guided tour of the campus um, for UWS and for Cali. Um, and that was aimed at paramedic science applicants. So they, they showed you around. Um, and it was really good to get an idea of what the universities are like, um, what the campus is like, where they're based. Like Emily says, um, the paramedic science degree does involve placements. So you need to have a really good think about whether the placements are going to be um, practical for you. Um, that was a big factor in my decision to go to Cali um, because I live in, in Glasgow. So the, the placements are local to me, whereas for UWS, they're kind of spread out. So it's really good to research the individual unis, get an idea of the differences see which health boards they cover um, and be realistic about, you know, whether or not you could be on placement two hours away. You know, maybe if you've got dependents at home, that might not be practical for you. Um, it's also a really good idea for your interview as well, um, because one of the questions that came up in every interview was, why do you want to come to this university in particular? Um, so it's a really good idea to look at that university, find out what they're doing different that sets them apart. So, you know, for example, UWS has amazing facilities and they've got this simulated ambulance. Um, so if you can confidently say, oh, well, you know, it's the facilities and the simulated ambulance, it shows that you've done your research and it shows that you're interested in, in that uni. Um, so it will help you in your interview as well. UWS have put a lot of thought into it. There was even a little flat that they'd made. There was a little tiny, tiny flat and they will, it's to give you an idea of the little houses you're going to be going into and how to work your equipment with your, your teammate in a small area. So they've put a lot of thought into making it as realistic as possible for you. And I thought that UWS have really shined through. They really have. I was very impressed when I went to see it. Yeah, so definitely if you can go to a campus tour or even um, a lot of the universities do uh, applicant Q&A sessions. Uh, I know Callie did that where you have, have like an online live chat and you can chat to the course team and ask them questions. Um, and you can even kind of slyly ask for hints about what they're looking for in the interview process um, to get an idea of kind of what what will set you apart. I think the best advice that I got um, when it comes to showing that you have an understanding of the profession is um, sometimes TV shows uh, can make the job seem really exciting and glamorous um, and you have to show that you have an understanding that it's not like that all the time. It's yeah. not always blue lights and trauma. Um, so they want to make sure that you're not going into it for that reason. Uh, so if you can show that you have an understanding of how broad of a profession it is, and that you know some days you will just be helping people that have had a fall or dealing with minor injuries, 
um, keeping people at home that don't necessarily need to go to hospital and, and treating them in their own home. Yes. Um, the, I think the, the model kind of worst answer to why do you want to be a paramedic is because it's exciting and I've seen a TV show. Um, so if, yeah. you can, if you can show that you've got a good understanding of, of what day-to-day -day life is like as a paramedic, then that'll do you well. Before I went to University West of Scotland, I did a test drive to find out how long it would take me so I could could time manage the traffic and make sure I was getting in there on time. I looked at where the parking was going to be. I understood where I was walking to because I didn't want to get lost and lose out on some of the interview time. So like yourself, Zach, I was there quite early. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think in terms of preparedness, closer to the day, I would say definitely bring a notebook. You're allowed to bring a notebook in with you. Yeah. Um, in your notebook, write down some prompts. So, you know, if you've done some research on the, the HCPC code of conduct, maybe some bullet points, um, kind of little facts that you can bring up. Yeah. I definitely bring a bottle of water as well because, you know, the, yeah. the, it's quite a nerve wracking situation. So it's good to be able to just take a break, have a sip of water um, and collect yourself when you need to. Um, and I know this, uh, it might seem obvious, but uh, have, a, have a think about what you're going to wear to your interview in advance. It doesn't have to be super formal, but probably not a job to do. Um, so I think I just wore some smart trousers and like a, a smart casual shirt, some shoes. Um, but if you, if you make sure that you're kind of showing up looking presentable on the day, because um, they, they will be looking for that. Yeah. Smart but casual, very presentable and not too over the top if, if, if you can. I would say, you know, if, if you think about what you'd wear to a job interview, same, same deal. Yeah. Read every bit of information the university will provide you with. Mm -hmm. If you need to try and do a test run to the universities to understand how long it's going to take you so you can time manage, because you may be doing this when there's heavy traffic, if you're trying to go on a train, try and time manage it as best you can. Smart but casual, take take some water with you and take, take some few notes if you want to refer back to them. Be polite and respectful of the other people around you because they're feeling the exact same way. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think one of my top tips is just remember that everyone there is as nervous as you and they're expecting some nerves. So don't let that get on top of you. Just go for it. Let your personality shine. Um, and you really can't be too prepared because you're going to be nervous in the moment. So the more that you can think about the questions that you're going to be asked and you can anticipate the answers, um, that's that's really going to help. Um, so like Emily said, read all of the documentation back to front that the UDs will give you. They'll really spell out what the interview process will be look, looking like and what they're expecting from you. So that that will be your best friend. And then any any research you can do on top of that, you know, YouTube videos, um, Google, reading the HCPC website, reading the NHS Scotland website, making sure that you have a good understanding of the profession. Um, so yeah, just to say thanks for listening today. I know that it's a nerve wracking process. I've been in your shoes. Just keep faith, keep your head to your studies, make sure you're prepared um, and just throw yourself at it. Um, so best of luck with your applications this year. I'm sure you will smash it.